we're back out here for test and tune. It's been a couple weeks since we broke this axle. I rebuilt it again, but I think it's a little too short and that's why it keeps breaking. But we're gonna send it down the track and see what we can do. Not a lot of people here because it's super hot today. I got the tires switched over, computer booted up. Let's roll up to the line. Number 21. that time we're on 14.2 pounds of boost here and I missed second gear I wouldn't go in I don't know why we used to keep having this second gear problem but yeah intake air 112 44% duty but we'll try it again foots are slow one nine because I'm being careful on this axle and then the eighth is an eight one I've had a uh, 780 before with this car but at least we're getting it back down all right so I added three percent to the boost parameters to the boost controller it is now at 58 percent right there it was at 55 so we'll see if that brought us up at all and I changed the boost cut to 20 at 20 pounds an hour.
guess what? Broken. Story of my life. Well, this time it broke here. Oh, I can feel all the balls. The balls are out. Shouldn't be able to turn this and not that. So the part I did still looks good. I mean, it's leaking a little crap, but it broke the outside of the cup. Uh, I found, I was looking at actual sizes last night because I can't afford the drive shaft shop ones yet. But a Prelude might, driver side axle might fit this. It's about an inch longer than this. And I believe that's our issue. And then also a TSX might work. So I'm gonna get both of those and try both of those. All right, so I got the broken axle out. It's actually broken in here this time. This is a 04 to 08 TSX axle. We're gonna try this. It should be the same spline, I believe. I'll let you know. Well, it looks like the splines are right, inner and outer. We just have to see if it's the right length or too long, or I gotta put the suspension on and then compress it, see what happens. So the axle's in, it looks pretty close right here, but I think it always does. Let's put some compression on it and then see what happens. I might also try putting the stock struts back on, stock springs I mean. These are the stock struts. Well, they're brand new struts with eBay lowering springs. The axle's in right now. Let's uh, see if it turns. Well, good thing I just used my brains. This side over here is still hooked up to the ground. That could have been bad. All right, so the other way to measure this is fully compress it on the ground, take the axle nut out, and then push the axle in. <clears throat> and it should be either flush or eighth of an inch in or out. So this one looks better than the Hasport one did. Let's see if I could show you. Yeah, it's probably a little less than an eighth out, which I think is really good. So it's just gonna see how it performs. It's really gonna tell us if we're figuring stuff out. Good thing is this is a axle from O'Reilly's. I mean, yeah, it's not very strong, but they are warrantied. So if I break this, warranty. 
and I could stock a bunch of them. So before we get ahead of ourselves and get excited, let's see if it actually works. Let's go for a ride. So this is the passenger side, and I believe the driver actually looks like it fits better than this one. See how much farther that is in? We haven't any, had any problems with the passenger side yet, but knock on axle, that'll work out for us. All right, so we're gonna go for a ride, test this axle out, see how it does. So if you look at this here, this is fourth gear and 14 pounds, 17 pounds at 5,000 RPMs. Duty looks good. Intake air looks good. We rode it all the way up 17 and a half. Almost peaked 18. Oh, 18 one right there. So about 18. About 18.4 at the top at 6,400 RPMs. Duty looks good. Intake air looks good. Everything looks all right. Let's go away from all the data and just go to closed loop. Cam, 30 degrees. You see a cam comes in, flattens out, rides across. Probably goes up to about 30. Let's see here. 38-ish. Yeah, 37. Drops back down. And if we put this thing back on the dyno, I bet you we could get this cam gear a little bit better. But everything looks all right. Boost comes up, stays straight across. Nice and good. The mile, and up, mile per hour and speed are right on top of each other, which is you like to see. So that means this fourth gear is one to one. Because if you look on, for example, here, this is first gear. You can see how separated they are, second, third, and then it gets into fourth and it starts to get closer. This is the last time we drove at the track. 
12.49 right before we broke it. And then this is the pass that we broke it on. We went first gear, slammed it a second, it broke. But I could feel it. It was feeling it. I could feel it pulling left, but I stayed into it. Well, that was the axle breaking. But she rips.